interesting when it comes to like writing especially with a new record like what's your creative process is it just like writing riffs and putting it yeah, all on a thing it yeah is. it's pretty much riffs so i'll be practicing come up with a riff tape it and then eventually i'll review the tapes and i'll think that's a good riff and i could do something with that and then i'll make a little demo drum machine i'll play the bass build it up try and get an arrangement i like give it to Raz, and then eventually we we decide that's that's great, that's great. This one can wait, and we put stuff away that that aren't, isn't quite working. Uh, and those songs sometimes re uh, reappear in in you know it's like oh we had this song ten years ago and, and and it didn't quite work, but I've got an idea for a chorus now or something, and so we kind of build like that. Uh, so some songs are around for years really before they they're actually finished interesting yeah because i i hear a lot of a lot of musicians especially like even like tony iomi where his whole process is just the same thing they're just yeah. like putting riffs down recording them and then just kind of building them and putting together a song yeah there's a there's uh, probably an art to putting riffs together you know making sure this riff goes with this riff uh so you're bearing in mind tempo and keys and style to feel uh, but I, I did actually work with Tony Iommi. We did a, a song on the Death and Progress album. And so I went around his house and he he did exactly the same as me. He got a cassette with rips. Oh, really? On. Yeah, I took my <laughs> cassette with rips on. And I thought, oh, dear, I'm out of my deck there. And what he did was reach for a cassette from a drawer full of cassettes and pop, pop a cassette in. And it just sounded like mine, you know, uh, but... He got his rips, and I'd say, "Oh, that's a good one." And then we'd play my cassette, and he'd say, "That's a good one." You know, we 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 managed to write a song that way. You know, by uh, by um, sticking each other's rips together. But that was a real eye opener to know that you know the Rip King <laughs> wrote in the same way as I do. <laughs> 